Hey friends, welcome back. If you are new here, I am Kate and this is where I teach you everything I know about sewing and we learn more together along the way. Today's video, I am sharing everything I've made from Seamwork, what I love about Seamwork, and what I know you're here for the most, what I don't love about Seamwork. And am I gonna continue my subscription? Stay tuned. Seamwork is. In a nutshell, Seamwork is a subscription-based community where you can purchase patterns from their library as well as connect with other makers. They have forums, they have challenges once in a while, they have other things going on on their site that you can participate in that aren't just the patterns. Now we're gonna get into you know all the things I love about Seamwork, but that's basically what it is. You pay a fee, you have access to their patterns, as well as everything else that's going on on their site and their YouTube channel. So, what have I sewn, or what have I made from Seamwork? So I actually tallied it up. I have downloaded 16, well no, I've downloaded more. I have printed and made 16 of their patterns, one of which I'm wearing. A couple of them I've made more than once, but for the most part, I've made each one time. So I have made the Seamwork Nolan pants, fail. The Seamwork bow top, I've made a few of these. I made the Seamwork, what used to be a Reno is now Dakota bathing suit top. I made the Jenna skirt. I made two Seamwork ace tops. I made a Seamwork Joe that I made to be just a little bit different and I have a video on that one. I made a Seamwork Ruth in my hand stamp painted fabric. I made a Seamwork Camden cape. I made the Seamwork ginger potentially one of my favorite skirts that I have ever made. I made all three of the older leggings, the Manila, the Aries, and the Shelly, and I did a comparison video on that one. I'll be sure to link it down in the description box for you to check out. I've used the Seamwork Denali, or what used to be the Denali is now called the Jessie, and I crossed that with an, the Albion for something for my husband. I used the Seamwork Jill pattern for a house coat for my grandma. This is the Seamwork Benning dress, and I have the Seamwork chip cut out. It's just awaiting certain hardware pieces. So that's what I've made from Seamwork. Of course, I have a ton of other patterns saved in my library that are just waiting to be used up, but that is what I have made in one year of Seamwork. So how much does this cost? Well, I paid $90. Now that gave me the unlimited membership. Time of filming, it is $150 American for a yearly membership in the unlimited range. The reason I paid $90 is because it was on sale and I jumped on it. So that works out to about $750 per month. Now, if you were to take the $90 that I paid, $90 American that I paid and divide it out by the 16 patterns that I purchased, each pattern would have cost me about $5.63 American, or if you use Canadian dollars, it's $127.68 for the year, and that brings you to just under $8 per pattern for the 16 that I used. Now, $8 a pattern Canadian, I mean, it's, it's lower than average, I would say, but it's still like, I mean, is it worth it, you know? But that's not the only reason I am joined up with Seamwork. They have classes, they have tutorials, you get emails with different tips in it. There is a magazine and there's the community and it's a pretty much a woman dominated company. Probably the number one reason I didn't cancel my membership, aside from the fact that I had already paid for it, is that there are two over 200 patterns to choose from and they add two new patterns every month, one of which will have a member bonus Bonus that you can only access if you're a member and the bonus just gives you it's like a hack or a, a separate pattern piece to kind of elevate the style of the the one of the patterns so if you're not a member you can purchase a pattern once it's released after a month I think but if you are a member you have access to the bonus as well so the reason that I love Seamwork is because to me in my head I've already paid for all these patterns, over 200 patterns I have access to. So when I'm looking for a new pattern or if I'm looking for a base to hack something or to draft something, I go to Seamwork because I've already paid for those patterns. And 
nine times out of ten I can find something that will work in their catalog. If you are looking at becoming a member, there are three tiers of membership. There is the basic, the premium, and then the unlimited, which is what I have. In the basic membership, you get one credit per month that you can exchange for a pattern. And then any more patterns you want to purchase in that month are $5 off of the original price of $14 American. If you bump up to the premium, then you also get access to, drum roll please, my favorite part, fabric discounts. There is a slew of fabric shops that offer discounts just for you being a Seamwork member. So my favorite, Blackbird Fabrics, is on there. You get 10% off their shop just for being a Seamwork member and using that discount code. I'm not even gonna tell you how much I've saved just because of that. It's paid off, let me tell ya. So yeah, so check out that list if there's shops on there that you purchase from frequently. I mean, maybe it's worth it even if you don't use any patterns to just pay that fee if you're going to be saving that much down the line. So as a premium member, you get access to the fabric discounts as well as two credits per month to cash in. If I were to purchase another membership, that is probably the one I would go with. I do again have the unlimited membership, which means you can download as many as you want, as many patterns as you want per month. Realistically, am I going to download more than two per month and use two per month? Probably not unless I like really put my mind to it, but you know, they, they accumulate. You don't have to use it or lose it. So you can not download any for one month and then the next month you have four. And to think about it, 30 days goes by pretty quick. So if you want my honest opinion, I would say get the premium membership unless you can snag the unlimited when it's on sale for the same price, which is what I did. But there's one thing I haven't mentioned yet. And it is the determining factor on whether or not I am going to be continuing paying for my Seamwork membership. I'm not going to continue paying for my Seamwork membership. And here is why. They have a referral program. So once you become a member, you can refer your friends to Seamwork. If they purchase a membership through your link, they will receive $3 off of their membership. Many of you, uh, 23, 24 to be almost exact, have purchased through my link. Every time somebody signs up through my link, I get a free month of Seamwork. So I have two years worth of freebies banked up. So I won't have to pay now for at least two years. My hope is that obviously I never have to pay again. <laughs> so if you sign up, take advantage of that. Put it in your Instagram link or share it on your Facebook page with your, or in, you know, Facebook groups, whatever. I haven't really put in a ton of effort into sharing it and I have that much already just over the last year built up. So thank you very much to all of you who have signed up through my link and any of you who are going to be signing up through my link right now. I really do appreciate it because I am a Seamwork fan, I guess. So the discount link will be in the description, of course, as it always is, for you to check out. Now, that being said, there are things like other companies, things, designers that I don't love about Seamwork. Number one, their designs aren't very avant-garde, which is totally fine. They, I, I call them more basic, which is great because then they're hackable and, and you can put your own spin on them, that kind of thing. That's not really a super con for me, but it is something to be aware of that it's nothing super out of the ordinary or elevated, really. They are great patterns, great designs, but nothing that's going to be, that says really fashion forward. However, I do find, number one, the instru instructions to be lacking and I can kind of justify that because they have so much support on their website and I think that's kind of why they maybe don't put so much effort into the instructions. But number two, a lot, some of the designs, the drafting is what I'm going to call subpar, so maybe below average, whereas if I were to pay for that pattern, I would be disappointed at the drafting, that kind of thing. And a lot of it go, does go hand in hand with the instructions. Now, in my mind, the reason that it's like that is because they put out two new patterns every month. They're pushing out the patterns, they're pumping them out, so I feel like they're focusing more on quantity over quality. And it's not that any of the patterns are like horrendous, 
but there are definitely things like I said that I am disappointed about so if you are a total beginner you can definitely still become a Steamwork member just be aware of that maybe start with some of the designs that are a little bit more beginner friendly like for example the bow top as I mentioned or you know the simple skirts things like that things that you can kind of understand without needing a ton of instruction or needing a ton of fitting I also find that their sizing is like I don't know I have trouble with sizing on every pattern company but Steamwork I just it's always big on me, always, always, always big, and always short. I find their bodices really short. So just keep that in mind, do a muslin. I've kind of learned that that's just the best way to get around that, and um, and I think you will enjoy it, especially if you drop fabric drops. <laughs> so in the end, am I gonna continue my membership? Yes, because it's being paid for. If it wasn't being paid for, would I continue it? I don't know quite honestly I wouldn't be paying $150 American that's for sure I would bump down to the premium level if anything or I might just keep the basic level even um, because I'm not purchasing fabrics I don't plan to purchase fabrics for the next year and then just have access to one new pattern a month but I do think it's great if you can you know purchase that that first initial year and then you build up those credits to have following that year so yeah that's just my opinion on seamwork all in all i do love seamwork and and i think that if you follow them on instagram and on youtube and everything you will you will learn a lot and there's a lot of support there something like a database for you to be able to go to and connect with other people and and actually talk to somebody real and get some answers and they have challenges and stuff like that so it's really fun too and it's great to just look through all of their patterns. It's crazy how many patterns they have. So I hope that video was helpful for you, informative, entertaining. If you are looking at purchasing Seamwork, again, I do have that $3 discount for you that's down in the description box. So thank you very much if you use that. And if you did like this content, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can see me next time. Bye.